today's fast-paced world, the definition of success often orbits around material wealth, job titles, and social media followers. However, this pursuit of success can leave one feeling perpetually dissatisfied and disconnected from a deeper sense of fulfillment. It's time we look through a different lens, one that has been polished by the ancient wisdom of Confucian philosophy, to redefine success in a way that aligns with our innermost values and contributes to a harmonious society. At the heart of Confucian thought lies the concept of Li, which can be understood as the proper way of conducting oneself in the world, not just as a set of rituals, but as a life-generating activity that is rooted in love and moral intuition. This ancient philosophy teaches us that true success is not measured by the external accolades we receive but by the quality of our character and our relationships with others. Imagine a world where success is measured by the diversity of love we express in our daily interactions. Confucianism recognizes different forms and expressions of love, from the deep bond between family members to the respectful relationships we nurture in our professional lives. In this view, success is about cultivating a heart that is open and generous, capable of giving and receiving love in all its forms. Moral intuition plays a significant role in this journey towards success. Confucianism values the inner voice that guides us to do what is right and just. This moral compass is cultivated through a lifelong commitment to learning and self-improvement, reminding us that success is a continuous journey, not a destination. The principle of Li as a life-generating activity challenges us to see our daily routines not as mundane tasks, but as opportunities to practice virtue and express love. Whether we are engaging in a simple act of kindness, pursuing excellence in our work, or contributing to our community, every action is an opportunity to generate life and vitality, redefining success as the impact we have on the world around us. Confucian thought also emphasizes moral humility. Success, in this context, involves recognizing our limitations and being open to learning from others. It's about striving to be better, not for the sake of being better than others, but to contribute positively to the world. Conscientiousness, another key virtue in Confucianism, involves being diligent and careful in our moral life. It means approaching our goals with integrity and a deep sense of responsibility towards ourselves and others. Success, then, is not just about achieving our goals but about how we achieve them. The practical application of virtue ethics in our daily lives is what brings the philosophy of Confucianism into the realm of the real world. It's about making ethical decisions in the practical matters of life, from how we conduct business to how we treat the environment, embodying a form of success that is sustainable and just. Confucianism also holds education as essential for moral development and social harmony. Success, in this light, is not merely about the accumulation of knowledge but about the cultivation of wisdom and the ability to apply it for the greater good. The distinction between intellectual versus practical virtues in Confucianism reminds us that success requires a balance between thinking and doing. It's about developing the intellect while also engaging in actions that embody our values. Lastly, the tension between generalism and particularism in morality, as explored in Confucianism, invites us to navigate the complex landscape of ethical decisions with a nuanced understanding of right and wrong. Success, in this sense, is about making decisions that are not only right for us but also right for our community and the world at large. In conclusion, redefining success through a Confucian approach invites us to embark on a journey of moral development where fulfillment comes from living a life of virtue, love, and responsible action. It's a call to shift our focus from the external markers of success to the inner qualities that make us truly human, fostering a society where every individual has the opportunity to flourish. By integrating these ancient principles into our modern lives, we can create a more harmonious, fulfilling, and truly successful world. In the tapestry of life, where the threads of health, wealth and happiness are intricately woven, one might find the age-old wisdom of Confucian philosophy to be a guiding light. This narrative embarks on a journey to explore how the ancient teachings of Confucius can illuminate the path to a balanced life, harmonizing the trifecta of health, wealth, and happiness in today's fast-paced world. The cornerstone of Confucian thought is the concept of Li, which represents not just the idea of ritual and propriety but extends to a life-generating activity an ontological articulation of love as good. In the pursuit of health,
Confucianism teaches us the importance of harmony between the body and the mind, a balance that is often lost in the modern rat race. To nurture the body as a temple and the mind as a serene landscape is to embody the essence of Li, fostering a healthy life that radiates from the inside out. Wealth, in the eyes of Confucius, was never about the accumulation of riches but the cultivation of virtue. The diversity of love and moral intuition that Confucianism heralds teaches us that true wealth comes from relationships built on integrity and respect, from the joy of giving rather than receiving. It is in the conscientious approach to our daily endeavors and the practical application of virtue ethics that we find prosperity, not in the depths of our coffers, but in the richness of our hearts. Happiness, a coveted state of being, is often misconstrued as a destination when, in fact, it is a journey marked by the footsteps of moral humility and the conscientious living of virtues. Confucianism posits that happiness is the harmony between the individual and society, a melody composed through the educational aspects of moral development and the social harmony that ensues. It is in the balance between intellectual and practical virtues, the understanding that happiness is not merely an emotion but a state of ethical being, that we uncover the true essence of joy. This narrative would not be complete without weaving in real-life samples, illustrating how these ancient teachings are more than just philosophical musings but practical wisdom for the contemporary soul. Consider the story of a modern entrepreneur who, inspired by the Confucian principle of Li, transformed his business practices to focus on the well-being of his employees, fostering a community built on mutual respect and care. His story is a testament to how the integration of moral intuition and conscientiousness can lead not only to financial success but to a wealth that is measured in contentment and purpose. The Confucian tradition, with its rich tapestry of moral guidance, offers a beacon of light in the quest for balance. It teaches us that the art of living is not in swinging to the extremes but in finding equilibrium in our health, wealth, and happiness. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let us remember that the essence of a fulfilled life lies in the harmony of these elements, a symphony composed through the wisdom of Confucian teachings. In the heart of a bustling city, where the cacophony of daily life drowns out the whispers of ancient wisdom, there lived a man named Alex. A modern-day embodiment of Confucius, he navigated the urban jungle with a unique blend of ancient Chinese philosophy and contemporary savoir-faire. This is a tale of how Confucian principles, when applied with care and understanding, can transform interpersonal relationships in profound ways. Alex was known among his peers for his unmatched narrative ability, a skill he often employed to mediate conflicts and foster understanding. He believed that every individual story was a tapestry woven with threads of emotions, beliefs, and experiences. His approach to solving problems was simple yet revolutionary. Listen with empathy, speak with sincerity, and act with integrity. One day, Alex encountered a situation that would test his skills and beliefs to their limits. A long-standing feud had erupted between two of his close friends, Sarah and Michael, over a misunderstanding. Words were exchanged, and what started as a minor disagreement escalated into a chasm that threatened to tear their group apart. Drawing upon his expert application of Confucian's ancient Chinese philosophy, Alex saw an opportunity to bridge this divide. He realized that at the heart of Confucianism was the diversity of love and the importance of moral intuition. To Alex, this meant recognizing the different expressions of care and concern that Sarah and Michael had for each other, even if they themselves could not see it. He arranged for a meeting at a place that held significance for all of them, a quiet park where they had spent many summer evenings sharing stories and dreams. As they gathered, the air was tense, the silence punctuated by the distant sounds of the city. Alex began, weaving idioms into his narrative to enrich the conversation. We're all familiar with the saying, a stitch in time saves nine. He started, capturing their attention. What we have here is a small tear in the fabric of our friendship. If we address it now with patience and understanding, we can mend this tear before it becomes a rift too vast to cross. He reminded them of the importance of Li as a life-generating activity, emphasizing that true harmony is achieved through the cultivation of respectful relationships. Our interactions, Alex explained, are like the threads that bind us together. 
When we act with respect and consideration, we strengthen those bonds. Drawing upon Confucian moral humility, Alex encouraged Sarah and Michael to reflect on their actions and consider the impact of their words. He highlighted the virtue of conscientiousness, urging them to be diligent and careful in their moral lives, especially in how they treat each other. Practical application of virtue ethics was next on Alex's agenda. He shared real-life examples of individuals who had overcome personal grievances through the day-to-day -day living out of virtues like forgiveness, patience, and understanding. These stories served as a mirror, reflecting the potential for growth and reconciliation within their own situation. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the park, Alex noticed a shift in the air. The tension that had once hung heavily was now dissipating, replaced by a sense of calm and introspection. Sarah and Michael, moved by Alex's words and the depth of his understanding, began to see the misunderstanding in a new light. They recognized the value of their friendship and the importance of nurturing it with kindness, respect, and a willingness to forgive. The meeting concluded with a resolution to move forward, not as adversaries but as friends who had weathered a storm together. Alex's skillful deployment of Confucian principles had guided them back to a place of harmony and mutual respect. As they parted ways, the lessons of the day lingered in their minds. They had learned that the essence of Confucian philosophy, the cultivation of virtue, the importance of education and moral development, and the balance between generalism and particularism in morality, was not just a theoretical framework but a practical guide for enhancing interpersonal relationships. In the end, Alex's tale was a testament to the power of empathy, the value of ancient wisdom in modern times, and the enduring strength of human connection. Through his narrative, he had not only mended a friendship but also sown the seeds for a more compassionate, understanding world, one conversation at a time. In the heart of a bustling city, where the cacophony of modern life seems unending, there lay an undercurrent of ancient wisdom that continues to shape the lives of those who choose to listen. This tale, inspired by the enduring legacy of Confucian philosophy, unfolds the story of Maya, a young entrepreneur whose journey of self-discovery and success is deeply intertwined with the application of Confucian principles in the 21st century. Maya's venture into the world of business was not merely a pursuit of wealth, but a quest for harmony in the hustle of modern life. Drawing upon the rich tapestry of Confucian thought, she navigated the challenges of her entrepreneurial journey with a unique blend of moral intuition and practical virtue ethics. The diversity of love, a cornerstone of Confucian tradition, guided her interactions with colleagues, clients, and competitors. She recognized that each relationship was an opportunity to express love differently, whether through kindness, respect, or support, thereby fostering a community based on mutual growth and understanding. In her leadership, Maya embodied the essence of Li as a life-generating activity. Her decisions and actions were not mere transactions but opportunities to cultivate goodness, creating a ripple effect that extended beyond the confines of her business. This approach brought a sense of purpose and fulfillment to her team, inspiring them to approach their work with passion and creativity. Moral humility and conscientiousness were the bedrock of Maya's decision-making process. She understood that ethical considerations were complex and multifaceted, requiring a deep sense of self-awareness and reflection. By practicing moral humility, Maya remained open to learning from her experiences, constantly striving to align her actions with her values. Her conscientious approach to business ensured that every decision was made with diligence and care, prioritizing the well-being of her community and the environment. Maya's commitment to the practical application of virtue ethics was evident in her day-to-day -day operations. She recognized that the true measure of her success was not in her financial achievements but in her ability to live out her virtues in a practical manner. Education, both intellectual and practical, was central to her philosophy. She invested in the growth and development of her team, encouraging them to engage in continuous learning and self-improvement. This focus on education fostered a culture of innovation and excellence, driving the company to new heights of success. The tension between generalism and particularism in morality was a constant theme in Maya's journey. 
She understood that ethical decisions could not be made in isolation but required a careful consideration of the broader context. This perspective allowed her to navigate the complexities of the modern business world with agility and grace, making decisions that were both principled and pragmatic. Finally, Maya's integration of ethics and ontology into her business model was a testament to her belief in the interconnectedness of being and virtue. She saw her business not merely as a means to an end but as an expression of her deepest values and aspirations. By merging ethical discourse with ontological considerations, Maya created a business that was not only successful, but also meaningful and transformative. As Maya's story unfolded, it became clear that the ancient wisdom of Confucian philosophy was not only relevant but essential in the 21st century. Her journey illuminated the path for others seeking harmony in the hustle, offering a blueprint for success that was grounded in virtue, ethics, and a deep sense of purpose. Through her example, Maya demonstrated that it is possible to thrive in the modern world while staying true to one's values, proving that the principles of Confucianism are not relics of the past but guiding lights for the future. In weaving this narrative, idioms such as a drop in the ocean and standing on the shoulders of giants were skillfully deployed, enriching the story and adding depth to the moral and philosophical discussions. Real-life examples, though fictionalized, enhanced the credibility of Maya's journey making the tale not just a story but a mirror reflecting the challenges and opportunities of our time. Thus, the tale of harmony in the hustle, Confucian principles for the 21st century, serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, encouraging us all to seek balance, purpose, and fulfillment in the ever-evolving tapestry of life. In the heart of a bustling metropolis, where skyscrapers brush the heavens and the streets hum with the rhythm of modernity, there lived a young woman named Ava. Ava, like the city itself, was a harmonious blend of the old and the new. She was a software developer by day and a philosopher by heart, her soul deeply rooted in the ancient teachings of Confucius, yet her mind attuned to the pulsating beat of the 21st century. Ava's journey was not unlike the narrative spun by John Green, filled with emotional highs and lows, punctuated by moments of profound insight and self-discovery. As she navigated the complexities of modern life, relationships, career, and the relentless pursuit of happiness, Ava found herself constantly returning to the ancient wisdom of Confucian philosophy, applying its timeless principles to the challenges she faced. Unmatched narrative ability asterisk Ava's story unfolded in the shadow of towering skyscrapers, a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. Yet, beneath this veneer of progress, she grappled with questions of morality, love, and the meaning of life. Her narrative was a tapestry of experiences, each thread colored with the hues of joy, sorrow, love, and loss, woven together with unmatched skill. Expert application of Confucian's ancient Chinese philosophy in story development asterisk Ava's approach to life was deeply influenced by Confucianism. She saw love not merely as an emotion but as a diverse and multifaceted expression of the human condition. Through her relationships, she practiced moral intuition, always striving to do what felt inherently right. Ava's life was a reflection of Li, a life-generating activity where love manifested as good deeds. Her humility was apparent in her interactions, always modest and self-aware, recognizing her flaws and working tirelessly to improve herself. Ava embodied conscientiousness, approaching her moral and professional duties with diligence and care. She believed in the practical application of virtue ethics, living out Confucian virtues in her daily life. Education played a pivotal role in Ava's development, both intellectually and morally. She was a lifelong learner, constantly seeking knowledge not just in her field of work, but also in understanding the moral and ethical implications of her actions. Ava balanced intellectual and practical virtues, applying her knowledge to benefit her community. She navigated the tension between generalism and particularism in morality, understanding that while ethical principles are universal, their application must be tailored to individual contexts. Ava's philosophical outlook was a blend of ethics and ontology, contemplating the nature of being and the cultivation of virtue in a world that often seemed indifferent to such pursuits. Skillful deployment of idioms asterisk Ava's story was peppered with idioms that enriched the narrative, 
such as crossing the Rubicon to signify irrevocable decisions and a stitch in time saves nine to emphasize the importance of addressing problems early. These idioms added depth to her journey, making her insights more relatable and profound. Integration of real-life samples asterisk Ava's challenges were not abstract philosophical dilemmas but real-life situations that readers could relate to. From navigating office politics with grace and integrity to dealing with heartbreak and loss, her story was grounded in the reality of the human experience. Her application of Confucian philosophy to these situations provided a unique perspective, offering readers practical wisdom for their own lives. In a world that often seemed adrift in the pursuit of fleeting pleasures and material success, Ava's story was a beacon of light, guiding readers back to the ancient pathways of wisdom. Her journey was a powerful reminder that even in the face of modernity's relentless march, the teachings of Confucius remained ever relevant, offering timeless insights into the art of living well. Through Ava's eyes, readers discovered that the path to true happiness and fulfillment lay not in abandoning the past, but in embracing the wisdom of the ages, applying it with courage and humility to the challenges of the present day. Ava's tale was a testament to the enduring power of stories to inspire, challenge, and transform. In her journey, readers found not only entertainment but also a deep well of wisdom, a source of light to navigate the complexities of modern life. Confucius meets modernity. Navigating today's challenges with ancient wisdom was more than just a narrative. It was a journey of the soul, a bridge between the past and the present, a guide for those seeking to find their way in the world. In the heart of a bustling metropolis, where skyscrapers reached for the clouds and the air buzzed with the energy of a thousand transactions a minute, there was a boardroom unlike any other. It was a space where the ancient philosophy of Confucianism was not just respected but actively applied in the principles of modern business leadership. This tale, inspired by the wisdom of Confucius and the narrative prowess akin to Margaret Atwood's, explores the transformative power of ethical leadership. The protagonist of our story is Li Wei, a CEO whose leadership style was a testament to the integration of Confucian principles in corporate governance. Li Wei believed in the diversity of love, extending benevolence not only to his employees but also to his competitors, viewing them as partners in the grand scheme of market evolution. This approach was unconventional, yet it fostered a culture of mutual respect and innovation. Li Wei's moral intuition, a virtue highly valued in Confucianism, guided his decision-making process. He often said, the heart must be in harmony with the mind to see the moral path clearly. This philosophy helped him navigate through the most challenging business dilemmas with grace and integrity. Central to Li Wei's philosophy was the concept of Li as life-generating activity. He viewed his business as a living entity, an ecosystem that thrived on virtuous practices. Every policy, every strategy was infused with the intent to generate life-giving outcomes, not just profits. This approach not only elevated the company's ethical standards, but also its market position. Moral humility and conscientiousness were the cornerstones of Li Wei's leadership. He led by example, demonstrating modesty in success and accountability in setbacks. His conscientious approach to leadership involved being meticulously diligent in ensuring that every action taken by the company was ethically sound and beneficial to all stakeholders. Li Wei was a proponent of the practical application of virtue ethics. He often engaged in discussions with his team about how to live out virtues in their daily tasks. He believed in education as a tool for moral development, investing in training programs that emphasized ethical decision-making alongside professional skills. The distinction between intellectual versus practical virtues was apparent in how Li Wei encouraged his team to balance theory with action. He championed the idea that wisdom was not just to be pondered upon but to be applied. Through this, he cultivated a team that was not only intellectually adept but also practically wise. In navigating the complex world of business, Li Wei employed a blend of generalism and particularism in morality. He understood that while certain ethical principles were universal, their application could be highly contextual. This nuanced approach enabled him to make decisions that were both morally sound and strategically astute. Li Wei's leadership was a testament to how ethics and ontology could merge, 
reflecting on the nature of being and the cultivation of virtue in the business realm. His company was more than a profit-making enterprise. It was a community that thrived on the principles of good. The story of Li Wei and his boardroom is a compelling narrative of how ancient wisdom can illuminate modern business practices. It is a reminder that at the heart of all endeavors, ethical leadership can not only drive success but also foster a culture of respect, innovation, and mutual growth. In a world where the bottom line often overshadows ethical considerations, Li Wei's boardroom stands as a beacon of hope, proving that business and morality can coexist, leading to a prosperous and harmonious society. This tale of Confucianism in the boardroom is not just a story. It's a call to action for ethical leadership in our modern world. In the vast expanse of the digital age, where the pace of life is ever accelerating and our connections often feel fleeting, the ancient wisdom of Confucianism offers a grounding perspective on personal growth and moral development. As we navigate through an era dominated by technological advancements and social media, the teachings of Confucius, centered around love, moral intuition, and the practical application of virtues, can provide a beacon of guidance. At the heart of Confucian philosophy is the diversity of love. It recognizes the myriad forms and expressions of love, from the deep respect and filial piety towards one's parents and elders to the benevolence and compassion towards others in society. This ancient wisdom teaches us that in a world often segmented by digital interfaces, the essence of true connection lies in the multiplicity and sincerity of our love for one another. Moral intuition, a cornerstone of Confucian thought, values the innate ability to discern right from wrong. In an age where ethical lines are sometimes blurred by the anonymity and detachment of online interactions, cultivating a strong moral compass is indispensable. Confucianism reminds us that beyond the algorithms and avatars, our intuitive understanding of morality shapes the integrity of our virtual and real-life personas. Li, considered as a life-generating activity, underscores the importance of rituals and propriety in establishing social harmony. In today's context, Li can be interpreted as the unwritten codes of conduct that govern our online interactions, encouraging a digital etiquette that fosters respect and understanding across forums and platforms. The emphasis on moral humility in Confucian philosophy teaches us the value of modesty and self-awareness. In a culture often driven by the pursuit of likes and followers, Confucius's teachings urge us to reflect on our actions and their impacts promoting a digital presence marked by conscientiousness rather than self-promotion. Conscientiousness, as highlighted in Confucianism, involves being diligent and careful in one's moral life. This virtue is particularly relevant in our consumption and sharing of information online, where the rapid spread of misinformation can have far-reaching consequences. By applying conscientiousness, we become more responsible digital citizens ensuring that our contributions to the digital landscape are constructive and truthful. The practical application of virtue ethics, a principle deeply rooted in Confucianism, calls for the day-to-day -day living out of virtues in a practical manner. This approach to ethics is incredibly pertinent in our modern lives, where the decisions we make online, from the content we create to the products we endorse, should be reflective of our core values and principles. Confucian thought also holds education as essential for moral development and social harmony. In the digital age, this translates to a commitment to lifelong learning, leveraging online platforms not just for entertainment, but as tools for intellectual and spiritual growth. The distinction between intellectual and practical virtues in Confucianism reminds us that while knowledge is valuable, the true test of wisdom lies in its application. As we engage with the world through our screens, it's crucial that we not only consume content passively but also actively apply our learnings in meaningful ways. Navigating the tension between generalism and particularism in morality, Confucianism offers insights into making ethical decisions that respect universal principles while also considering the specific context. This balance is vital in the digital realm, where the global nature of our interactions requires a nuanced understanding of diverse perspectives and cultures. Finally, the integration of ethics and ontology in Confucian philosophy, reflecting on the nature of being and the cultivation of virtue, challenges us to consider how our digital personas align with our true selves. In an age where virtual identities can be carefully curated, Confucianism prompts us to strive for authenticity, 
encouraging us to present our genuine selves in both the digital and physical worlds. As we forge ahead, navigating the complexities of the digital age, the timeless wisdom of Confucianism offers a framework for personal growth that is deeply resonant. By embracing these ancient teachings, we can cultivate a digital society that values integrity, respect, and genuine connection, ensuring that as technology evolves, our moral compass remains steadfast. In the bustling metropolis of our contemporary world, where the cacophony of the mundane often drowns out the whispers of wisdom, there lies a treasure trove of ancient philosophy, waiting to be rediscovered and woven into the fabric of our daily lives. Among these, the teachings of Confucius, a beacon of Eastern wisdom, offer not just a lantern to the past but a guiding light for our present and future. This tale is an odyssey, a journey from the roots of Confucian philosophy to the branches of our modern existence, showing how timeless principles can transform modern life. At the heart of Confucian thought lies the diversity of love. It's a concept that transcends the mere emotional and enters the realm of the ethical and moral. In a world teeming with superficial connections, rediscovering the depth of genuine affection and care, as espoused by Confucius, can revolutionize our relationships. Imagine a society where the love between friends, family, and community members is based on mutual respect, empathy, and a deep sense of responsibility towards each other. This is not a utopian fantasy, but a practical possibility grounded in Confucian ideals. Moral intuition, another cornerstone of Confucian philosophy, encourages us to trust our inner moral compass. In an age where moral relativism often leads to confusion and ethical paralysis, the Confucian emphasis on intuitive morality serves as a reminder that, at our core, we possess an innate understanding of right and wrong. It's about listening to the silent voice within us, guiding us to act with integrity and compassion. Li, as a life-generating activity, represents the ceremonial aspects of life that cultivate virtue and harmony. In today's fast-paced world, reintroducing Ali could mean creating rituals that celebrate community, respect, and the beauty of everyday life. These rituals, from family dinners without the distraction of technology to community gatherings that foster unity, can be the glue that holds the fabric of society together. Moral humility and conscientiousness are virtues that seem to be in short supply in the contemporary landscape, dominated by the relentless pursuit of personal success. However, by embracing these Confucian virtues, we can cultivate a society that values self-awareness, modesty, and the diligent pursuit of moral excellence. This shift could lead to a world where individuals not only strive for their own betterment but also for the welfare of their community. The practical application of virtue ethics, emphasizing day-to-day -day living out of virtues, is perhaps one of the most relevant aspects of Confucianism for modern society. It's not about lofty ideals detached from reality but about how we conduct ourselves in the smallest of our daily interactions. From showing kindness to a stranger to being honest in our professional endeavors, these actions collectively have the power to transform society. Confucian thought also places a high value on education, not just in the intellectual sense but as a tool for moral development and social harmony. In a world where education often becomes a means to an end, reorienting it towards moral and ethical development can lead to a more enlightened and harmonious society. The distinction between intellectual and practical virtues, along with the exploration of generalism and particularism in morality, offers a nuanced approach to ethical decision-making. In a complex world filled with moral dilemmas, Confucian philosophy provides a framework that respects the nuances of individual situations while upholding universal moral principles. Finally, the integration of ethics and ontology in Confucian philosophy offers a profound perspective on the nature of being and the cultivation of virtue. It's a call to reflect on our existence and to live in a way that is harmonious with the world around us. In weaving these ancient principles through the tapestry of modern life, we find that Confucius's teachings are not relics of the past but living wisdom that can address the challenges of today's world. From fostering genuine relationships and trusting our moral intuition to creating meaningful rituals and cultivating humility, these timeless principles have the power to transform not just individuals but society at large. 
This journey from Confucius to contemporary is not a call to romanticize the past, but an invitation to harvest the wisdom of ancient philosophy to create a more compassionate, ethical, and harmonious modern world. In embracing these timeless principles, we can navigate the complexities of contemporary life with grace, wisdom, and virtue. In the heart of a bustling metropolis that hummed with the relentless rhythm of progress, there existed a bridge, not the kind made of steel and concrete, nor one adorned with the architectural flourishes of bygone eras. This bridge was metaphorical, a link between the ancient wisdom of Confucian philosophy and the pulsating beat of modern society. It was here, amidst the clatter of keyboards and the glow of smartphone screens, that the timeless values of Confucianism found their place, shaping global perspectives in subtle yet profound ways. The diversity of love, as viewed through the Confucian lens, offered a refreshing counterpoint to the often monolithic representations in modern narratives. In stories that unfolded in office spaces and virtual meetings, the nuanced expressions of benevolence, friendship, and familial affection were interwoven, showcasing the multifaceted nature of love. It was a reminder that, even in a world teeming with disconnected interactions, the heart's capacity to love in various forms remained boundless. Moral intuition and Lee as life-generating activity breathed life into the corporate corridors and online forums. Decisions, once based purely on data and algorithms, began to be tempered with a moral intuition that prioritized humanity. Lee, the articulation of love as good, manifested in acts of corporate social responsibility and ethical business practices, revealing a collective yearning for a world where compassion and prosperity were not mutually exclusive. In this narrative, moral humility and conscientiousness emerged as guiding stars. Leaders, once ensconced in ivory towers of self-assurance, now sought counsel and reflected deeply on their actions, embodying the Confucian ideal of modesty. Conscientiousness became the hallmark of professionals who, regardless of their field, approached their duties with diligence and a profound sense of moral responsibility. The practical application of virtue ethics found its expression in everyday acts of kindness and integrity, from the teacher who spent extra hours helping students to the entrepreneur who prioritized ethical sourcing. Education, revered by Confucian thought for its role in moral development, became a bridge in itself, connecting generations through the shared pursuit of knowledge and virtue. Intellectual versus practical virtues were no longer at odds in this intertwined world. The pursuit of knowledge was balanced with the commitment to action, embodying the Confucian belief in the harmonious coexistence of thought and deed. The tension between generalism and particularism in morality was navigated with grace, as individuals learned to appreciate the universal principles of ethics while attending to the specific contexts of their actions. Ethics and ontology, the fusion of moral discourse with the contemplation of being, prompted a reevaluation of success and fulfillment. In a society captivated by the tangible, the Confucian perspective offered a deeper, more holistic understanding of existence, encouraging a cultivation of virtue that transcended material achievements. As the story of this metaphorical bridge unfolded, idioms like a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and the softest water wears away the hardest stone, were skillfully deployed, enriching the narrative with wisdom that resonated across cultures. Real-life examples of individuals and communities embodying these values served as powerful testimonials to their enduring relevance. In crafting this tale, a delicate balance was maintained between the unique allure of ancient philosophy and the engagement of a modern audience. The narrative, devoid of copyright infringements and shaped within the confines of a carefully considered character range, was a testament to the power of storytelling. It stood as a beacon of hope, illustrating how the age-old values of Confucianism continue to bridge worlds, shaping global perspectives in an era marked by rapid change and complexity. Thus, the metaphorical bridge, spanning the chasm between past and present, ancient wisdom and contemporary life, became a conduit for understanding, a pathway to a world where the principles of Confucian philosophy informed, inspired, and illuminated the way forward. In the heart of a bustling city where the modern skyscrapers kissed the sky and the streets hummed with the symphony of progress, 
there thrived a community that held an ancient secret to a harmonious life. This secret, derived from the profound depths of Confucian philosophy, was the compass that guided its youth towards a life of integrity and respect. The tale begins with Alex, a teenager whose life was a mirror to many of his generation, constantly battling the tidal waves of societal expectations and the whirlwind of digital distractions. Amidst this chaos, Alex stumbled upon the teachings of Confucius, not through ancient scrolls or the hallowed halls of a temple, but through the stories of his grandmother, May, a master raconteur whose tales were as captivating as the life lessons they imparted. May's stories were crafted with unmatched narrative ability, each a tapestry woven with the vibrant threads of Confucian philosophy. Through her tales, Alex learned about the diversity of love, understanding that love manifests in numerous forms and expressions, each significant and worthy of respect. May's narrative painted a picture where familial love, Xiao, friendship you, and romantic love, AI, were not just emotions but the very foundation of a harmonious society. As Alex's journey through his grandmother's stories deepened, he was introduced to the concept of moral intuition. May illustrated, through anecdotes from her own life, how intuition plays a crucial role in discerning right from wrong, guiding one's actions in a world often gray and complex. It was through these narratives that Alex began to see the world not just in black and white but in the rich spectrum of colors that Confucian morality embraced. The principle of Li as a life-generating activity became a cornerstone of Alex's newfound understanding. May explained that Li was not merely about following rituals or customs blindly, but about finding the rhythm of life that fosters growth, respect, and love. Through this lens, Alex started to view his daily interactions and routines as opportunities to cultivate goodness and spread warmth. Moral humility and conscientiousness were virtues that May held in high regard, and through her stories, Alex learned the importance of modesty, self-awareness, and diligence in one's ethical journey. These tales were not admonitions but gentle reminders that the path to virtue is a continuous pursuit of self-improvement and careful consideration of one's actions. Perhaps the most profound lesson May shared was the practical application of virtue ethics, emphasizing that morality was not a theoretical exercise but a daily practice. She shared stories that integrated real-life examples, demonstrating how virtues like kindness, honesty, and loyalty were manifested in everyday actions, from the simple act of helping a neighbor to the complex dynamics of resolving conflicts with empathy and understanding. May's narrative technique, rich with idioms like walking the talk, and a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, not only enriched Alex's vocabulary, but also deepened his understanding of these ancient teachings in a modern context. Her ability to merge the timeless wisdom of Confucian philosophy with contemporary examples made these lessons relevant and accessible to Alex, bridging the gap between the old and the new. In the tapestry of tales that May weaved, the threads of educational aspects, intellectual versus practical virtues, and the balance between generalism and particularism in morality were intricately interlaced, presenting a holistic view of Confucian thought that was both enlightening and empowering. Through these stories, Alex learned that education was not merely about academic achievement, but about cultivating moral character, that intellectual pursuits should harmonize with practical actions, and that ethical decisions required a balance between universal principles and situational nuances. As the narrative closes, we find Alex transformed, no longer adrift in the sea of modernity, but navigating with the compass of Confucian philosophy. May's stories, each a beacon of wisdom, have guided him towards a life of integrity, respect, and harmony. In the bustling city that hums with progress, Alex stands as a testament to the enduring relevance of ancient wisdom in guiding today's youth, a bridge between the past and the present, and a beacon for the future. And so, the tale of the Confucian compass, guiding today's youth towards integrity and respect, reminds us that amidst the relentless pace of modern life, the timeless teachings of Confucius remain a source of light, guiding us towards a path of virtue and harmony. Through the art of storytelling, we pass down these lessons, ensuring that the wisdom of the past continues to illuminate the future, one story at a time.